Well, the law may not be a terrible law. I object to your rush to judgment and your rush to say that every state should pass this law and only kooks from even the far left and the far right, they, they couldn't object to this. Naming, having laws passed after children who tragically die is just a bad way to make Law. Look Je at Megan's Jessica's law. law has worked out real well. I mean, got 44 states have passed it. And as you know, now that they have mandatories, taken away the discretion from the crazy judges, and these guys are paying a price. Well, discretion can be a good thing. Not, in, not in this case. Well, Jessica's law, which you pushed for, right. may not be a terrible law, though in, San Fr in California, the police are complaining that a lot of these people now are homeless. They have no place to live. That's and they're Megan's more law. Dangerous. That's not Jessica's law. They said Jessica's law. Okay, well, they're crazy. All right. Jessica's Megan's law is a punitive action against child rapists, and it's worked. Now, let's get back to Kaylee's law. Look. The, the stats show, and I'm a stat man, as you know that, that 76% of abducted children who are murdered are killed within three hours of their abduction. So it is, it is imperative that when the child goes missing, that the people, the parent or guardian, pick up and call 911. This Casey Anthony didn't do that. We all know why. So all right. a parent who's going to murder her child is going to be worried about no. this reporting? He beat the rap, and if they had this Kaylee's law, they could have gotten her on a bigger felony and put her away for 10 years. All right. She served three years. She yeah. was found not guilty. Every time there's a judgment that but we don't like, we're going to pass a law. She couldn't have been found guilty.